Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. Today I am going to be doing Blackmire 2. This is also known as the Temple of Liazk Itzy. So butcher my pronunciation in the comments. I literally have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce L-I-A-Z-K and then I-T-Z-I, Itzy, good enough for me. But to start this quest, the best way that I have found to get there is to use a Fadza Heals Portal Gem. If you have that, that's the Garundim Master Mage. It actually takes you literally right next to the entrance. But before we go in, we're actually going to go to the Master Mage because you need to have a Bloodstone Spell Component. Or, excuse me, Dragon's Blood Spell Component. So conveniently, Fatsahil the Master Mage is located right here next to the entrance to the dungeon. We're going to go to Spell Components and we're just going to grab Dragon's Blood, which is that cool looking Spell Component. And we'll head back to the, uh, I don't know, entrance to the temple. Now you have to be careful because the Watcher of the Dead will portal you for one of the Clutch of Kings quests, so you cannot talk to the Watcher of the Dead. You have to go inside, ignore the Verindi that's attacking you, and then use this odd-looking vine that's on the ground. Unknown Burden and it will portal you. Dizziness and nausea wash over you for a brief moment. You feel as though your body is being torn asunder as it is pulled into the torrent of portal space. The other thing that's important for this quest is you're gonna want to create a fellowship, even if you're doing it solo, and you're gonna wanna be in that fellowship. You will talk to the guardian who will give you a riddle the riddle is as follows. Blood of flesh has sealed me and blood can see my locks undone. The blood came first from opened flesh. The blood to see my joints unbound is found when ground is opened. And then you just hand over your dragon's blood. You have answered the riddle correctly and may pass through the door. The door will close within 10 grains. Move quickly. So you need to get your entire fellowship to move through this sliding door within 10 seconds, except there is a button on the other side to reopen the door. So really you just need to make sure one person in your fellowship makes it through within 10 seconds. And then you're gonna go down here and there's four more guardians. Now the color behind them lines up with a certain level restriction. So there's actually four different ways to do this quest. It's restricted from 40 to 59, from 60 to 79, and then on this side, from 80 to 99, and the dark red one is 100 plus, which is what we're gonna do. You'll get teleported with Liask Itzy Guardians. Now this one, we're gonna take the first right, and then there's only one path to the end from there. The difference between the um, like different difficulties, the level restrictions is just the monsters in this one. So this one has the, the hardest monsters in it. The rewards at the end also change based on which level requirement you used. So there's different, you know, different rewards based on the levels. Now this quest rewards one piece of the ancient armor, which is pretty cool. A really good low level or kind of starter armor set. There are five Blackmire quests. Four of them reward armor and one of them rewards fellowship spells. And then to get the last piece of ancient armor, you actually have to do one of the Clutch of Kings quests, which I find a little bit strange, but I guess these are quests are tied together. Most of the most of the temples where you go to do these Blackmire quests are the same places you go to do the Clutch of Kings quests. So I'm sure in the lore of these quests, they're tied together, you know, Barun and Flatikot or, you know, in some way. One thing I found with all these buttons that you have to use on the wall is that I struggle to use them when I'm in combat mode. 
So if you can, I find it easier to run in peace mode, but if you're like getting hit because your melee defense goes down, then you could just go out of combat mode when you need to hit the buttons. Again, this is all just linear at this point. So, you know, if you come to a button or a lever and you're confused, like, you know, you just use it and you keep going on. There are quite a few. It is easy to get stuck. So many mobs. A lot of narrow spaces. And we're getting close to the end uh, of this section. One more button here. We're gonna go down into this large room. And the first time I did this, I was like, oh, like I'm at the end, but no, you need to go around to the side. There's another button, so many buttons. And into this room. where you'll use the Guardian. And you're gonna be teleported with Lair of Liask Itzy. And we're in the next section. So there's two ways to do this one. You can either jump down into this pit and fight a whole bunch of Slithis, this the tentacles, or you can do these jumps. So it's up to you. I found it to be a lot easier to do the running through the um, Slithus, but you know, to each their own. I also like to do the jumps, so for this video at least, we're gonna do the jumps. Um, you'll have to kind of play this one by your jump skill. It's a lot of short shift jumps. You can get back up if you fall. The, um, the platform around the corner over here you can get back up to with a full shift jump if you need to. And I think you could do this one in a bunch of different ways. There's no path, I would say, that's like how you have to do this. This is just the way that I have found. I actually think I went a different way the previous time. And obviously these like daggers aren't really hurting me, but they will, you know, they do about 20 damage to me at my level, but if you're doing this at a lower level, closer to 100, you might, you know, you might struggle. I honestly think you could probably make that jump from the floor. I could be wrong. It could be harder than it looks. That might be a false, might be a false, uh... No, it's not. Okay. And then you just jump across. And we're gonna come down and around. And we'll get to another guardian statue. If you fight the enemies, you'll come out over here. You can see there's a ton of these. Slithus. And we'll use the guardian and we'll go to the next section. Guardian teleports you with Liask Itzy's offering room. Okay, so for this one, it's you have to do this as fast as possible. So there's three little side rooms you can see on the map and there's three buttons. Right now, this strange device does not move. It seems to be without power. So you need to use the button, quickly run into the room, use the eye of the watcher. It's gonna debuff you with a really bad debuff and run out before that door closes. And now you need to do that three times. If you do it too slow, the device won't power up and you won't be able to teleport to the next section. Only one person in your fellowship needs to do this if you're doing it with more than one person. And if I did it right, yes, the room shutters and a thunderclap sounds about you. Something has been summoned. All right, and now we are in Halls of Liask Itzy. So there are three large rooms in this section. I actually think I'm gonna clear as I go because it's very easy to get stuck in these uh, narrow passages. See what I mean? Like, I'm in combat mode and it just slowly, it just can't get to the button for whatever reason. So you need to be out of combat mode to do that. 
All right, so you can go either way you want at this split because there's three large rooms and we're gonna go and we're trying to find a Brun Rook Shaman Keeper. Once we kill that, then we go to another guardian statue and we're gonna get teleported into the rewards room. So this is actually kind of the end of this. This is where, you know, you'll fight the boss per se. So what I like to do is just like, you know, you can either hug all the way left or hug all the way right and then work your way the other direction. So if you start all the way left, then you can work your way right and so on. I actually have this Brun rook shaman keeper in my verindi sense so when i run into this large room i should know i should probably already know it's probably not here so there's these like replicas of the large portal devices but they don't do anything and you're just looking for the keeper if the keeper is not there you can head out of the room and move on to the next one closed but it looked like it was open all right so we came from up here so we're going to continue to head east well, that one worked even though i was in combat mode interesting So you're going to continue uh, north, and then at the split here, we're going to go right. Check our V-Sense. I don't think it's here. This is what I mean where you can get stuck. And it's even worse with the doors. Go out of combat mode to open this again. And we'll head to the last one all the way to the east. I guess I should have started on this side. And there we go. Barun Rook Shaman Keeper showed up on my Verindy Sense, so we're going to need to guess clear all these guys to get into the room this is technically the boss fight um, but it's really not that difficult these guys are level 135 I'm, I'm if you're closer to level 100 it's obviously going to be more difficult but. all right we'll hit the door again a whole bunch more will come out Maybe there's not a uh, Barun Rook Shaman kill task, because you'd get that in one trip through this dungeon. And where is it? Barun Rook Shaman Keeper. It, it goes down just as quick as the other ones. I don't think it drops anything special, but let's take a look anyway yeah no it's just regular loot once you kill that you're gonna head back the way we came onto the uh like main strip here you're gonna keep going west now and then where we had the second large room and we went right at the split we're now gonna go left at the split through this door and there's a defender of Leah Leos Itzy's crypt and now we are in Leos Itzy's crypt we have finished the quest so we get to use the sarcophagus of high matriarch Leos Itzy for our rewards 
You find that the bracers placed atop the sarcophagus is intact and take it for yourself. And we are given ancient armored bracers. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can throw those on real quick. Van braces, right? Yeah, so the whole set looks like that. Pretty good stuff. Just throw my real armor back on. Um, and then you'll find that all around the room there are these pedestals with different things on it. So you can select one of these rewards per run. Uh, yeah, so this is a staff, light weapon staff. Uh, this is a finesse weapon dagger. There are scrolls for spells that you can cast, and when you cast them, they work on your entire fellowship. But I believe they only go up to level 7. So if you're buffing like a couple of low levels, it's probably actually really useful to get all of them. But again, you can only get one per run. There's a bow, which is pretty cool, and then a katar, which is a light weapon. So two light weapons, a finesse weapon, and a bow. And I think I'm going to get one of the spells this time. So let's get Alacrity of the Conclave, which I believe is Endurance. Enhances the coordination of all Fellowship members by 25 points for 30 minutes. And then, so the best one is 40 points, which I think, so I have level eight. So let's see what a level eight does, just, is 45. Yeah, so they're level sevens. So again, you know, you can only cast level seven others creature anyway. So it kind of makes sense you know, you could buff a ton of people with this, and it's the same duration, 60 minutes. I think that's the duration of level 7s. I should just double check that. Doesn't say, oh yeah, duration 60 minutes, so. Yeah, uh, that's going to be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe I'll do some more of the Blackmire quests. There's a couple of them. Uh, like I said, there's like five, and they all have some cool, interesting puzzles. Uh, which I kind of like in riddles and things like that that you don't normally uh, see in a lot of AC quests. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye.